Hell subject, how cool are those examples of the car changing colour and the umbrella changing colour? So these are using a type of ink or a type of uh, paint where the pigment actually reacts based on heat or water. Typically these materials are only used for like aesthetic purposes to make things look pretty and change colour because, ooh, pretty shiny things. Um, the third example there was Aerochromix, which is a new product by an artist in New York City. The aerochromic dye in that clothing, what it actually does is it changes colour. It starts to change when the air quality index starts at 60 and fully changes when it hits 160, when pollution's really bad. They currently cost 500 bucks each, so it's definitely more of like an art piece than a practical, uh, usable product yet. But it does raise really interesting questions about clothing in the future. I've talked before in a previous video where you could have augmented reality glasses where you could actually change the colour and patterns of people's clothes around you, or you could have a morph suit that actually is adaptive where you can download different designs or make it change. Yeah, imagine if our clothes are more than just uh, basic aesthetics. Imagine if they actually showed they had some, some practicality to them, some information, some visual information, such as air quality around us. I mean, not only could our clothes actually visually indicate pollution, air pollution around us, but they could indicate things like temperature, things like people's moods, things like uh, the collective kind of, you know, feeling of how people are today. Like as a basic example, maybe when it gets hotter, people's clothes kind of get redder and more orange and stuff like that. And when it gets colder, people's clothes get more green and yellow and blue. <laughs> or maybe actually uh, when you're playing Pokemon Go, your clothes automatically change colour to represent their team so you can actually find your other teammates, you know, whether you're Mystic, Valor or Instinct. And in addition, if these clothes were networked, they could actually interact with each other. So imagine, um, you know, it, it, it notices that there's like a Team Mystic person nearby and they, you know, you both start flashing blue. Or if there's like a rare Pokemon nearby, everyone's clothes start flashing and going crazy and like maybe pointing in the direction, pulsating through the crowd. They, everyone's clothes change towards where the Pokemon is. And of course you can do clothes that are adaptive based on your emotions and your, and your mood. Um, so you know, it could actually be linked up to your heart rate and change colour based on that, or linked up to your mood and kind of show people how you're feeling. Or imagine clothes are changed based on, say, when you're actually uh, booking an Uber. So not only could the clothes change and get more intense when the Uber driver's nearby, but it could actually flash and show the Uber driver where you are. Imagine if your clothes could actually pick up and adapt to every type of chemical they find in the air, even things like pheromones, but then also have the ability to emit their own chemicals, their own pheromones, and communicate with other clothing. So some of your thoughts, what other things could smart clothing do? What other things, ways could it adapt? What other information could it read? How could it be useful and add utility and awesomeness to life?